Hey everyone, welcome back if you've been here before and if you haven't, welcome to Maled Eats. Please subscribe and turn on post notifications for alerts on when I post. Today we're going to be making carbonara pasta and it's a very easy recipe. You just have to watch out for two things. The first thing you're going to be watching out for is the temperature of the pasta water. It should be warm, but it shouldn't be hot. Otherwise you'll have scrambled eggs. And then the second thing you need to watch out for is the burner. So you need to take the pot off the burner completely when you're mixing the sauce with the pasta so that the sauce doesn't overcook. Another thing I forgot to mention in the video is that you need to cook your pasta two minutes shy of al dente, which means you need to take it out of the water two minutes before it's cooked al dente. I hope you all try this recipe. It's super easy and it has very few ingredients, so you should be able to do it without a problem. But if you do have a problem, please let me know in the comments and I'll be able to help you. You're gonna heat up two to three tablespoons of olive oil. Then you're going to drop in two ounces of pancetta or guanciale per person. Guanciale is the traditional ingredient and it comes from the cheek of the pork. However, you can use bacon or Italian bacon, which is pancetta, perfectly fine. Once the bacon crisps around the edges and its color looks like this, you're going to remove it from the pan and keep the oil and fat reserve. You're going to then boil water in a large stock pot and salt heavily. Once it's boiling, drop in your pasta. I use the spaghetti for this recipe, but you can also use something short like rigatoni. Now you're going to get a measuring cup and scoop out a cup and a half of pasta water. Now for the sauce, you're going to get two ounces of Parmesan cheese, one egg and one egg yolk per person. Whisk until there's no more streaks of egg in the cheese mixture. Crackle some black pepper on top and then whisk again. You're gonna pour in about two to three tablespoons of pasta water, making sure it's definitely warm and not hot, otherwise you'll have scrambled eggs. Once the pasta is drained, put the stock pot back on the burner and then add your oil and fat from the bacon. And then add two thirds of a cup of the pasta water and let it boil. Once the water is boiling, add the pasta back in and let the water reduce by half. Once it's reduced by half, take it off the burner and let it cool for a minute before you start adding your egg mixture. You're going to gradually put in the egg mixture and mix so that the pasta is coated completely by the sauce. Once you add all the egg mixture, there shouldn't be any chunks remaining and the cheese should have emulsified completely with the sauce. Now you can add the pancetta bits and leave a few on the side for garnish. To plate, you're just gonna twist some pasta on your tongs and then plop them gently on your plate. Add some of that reserved bacon on top and then grate some Parmesan cheese. And there you have it guys, the perfect pasta carbonara. 
As you can tell, I really enjoyed destroying it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and stay tuned for more content.